to have an indicator. All right, and just because the helmets collide, it's not an indicator. It has to be a launch or an upward thrust towards the head or neck area. I didn't feel like there was that. So even though, hey, as a former quarterback, I'm always for protecting the quarterback. But I like the, the no call there. Still, 15-yard penalty for Auburn because of illegal hands to the face, which gives LSU a fresh set of downs on Auburn's side of the 50. Max Johnson pulls it in a quick strike to one of the best in the biz, Keyshawn Boutte. Katie. That connection between Johnson and Butte has been in the works for a long time, guys. Last season when the two were both backups, they'd stay late after practice just throwing in catches, learning about each other's tendencies and abilities. Butte says that's why they're having so much success this season on the field. He also says his speed helps, too. You think? Wow, is he fast, Katie. First down, going to take a shot incomplete. He's looking for Smith. Butte now a touchdown catch in seven straight games. And if you look at the numbers, I mean, clearly they have a remarkable chemistry. And what you thought this year, you thought Kayshawn Boutte would take off. And even though what he did in the final two games of last year was remarkable, man, to see the heights that he's likely to reach by the end of 2021, it's exciting to see his growth. So Boutte just on the backfield of Kiner. Kiner with a stick. Oh, he ran two of them niggas over. Good looking freshman. Damn. Third down and four. Josh Williams, former walk on, going to scholarship, comes in to play running back for LSU. against Johnson, trying to split defensive tackles and then launch himself forward for the line to gain, and he does. Their Cole was pursuing. This is one of the parts of his game that is, I think, vastly underrated. He's not going to be a guy that takes the game over with his legs. Not going to happen. But not all that unlike Joe Burrow, he can keep you honest. Yeah. I mean, he can get you four or five in a critical third down, like we saw right there. I think he's a better athlete than people suggest. It's always evident. It's always See, evident with his mo movement and mobility in the pocket. I want to take a look at this spot. Remember the yellow line unofficial. Right there. Helps himself out with the forearm. He was short. With the arm, but then that forearm comes down. It's tough. Mark of the ball here, isn't it? It is. I mean, where is the right ball when that there. elbows down? Yeah, he's short. He's yep. a little bit short. I would say the 22 and a half yard line is about a half yard short of what appears to be the line of the game. One is they're going to go for it. Or if they in field goal range, go for the field goal. Johnson. Um, everybody talks about the fact that his dad was a Super Bowl champion, right? Brad Johnson had a great career, but the whole family, the whole family is that his brother is one of the best, if not the best, tight end recruit in the country. And then mom, Katie. I mean, mom's a superstar athlete in the family, right? Uh, yes, and I know we talk a lot about his dad, and rightfully so, but let's give some credit where credit's due, guys. He got his speed and his fire from Nikki Johnson, who was a fierce outside hitter for the South Florida volleyball team in the late 80s. She held a bunch of school records. Her nickname, guys, is Killa. I mean, what else do you need to say? Mom's got it going on, too. <laughs> We were talking to Max the other day. Katie was on a call with him. He said, listen, I don't care what it is. Spike ball, hand jam on the beach. This family gets after it. They compete. They're ruling it a fourth and one, as we showed on the replay. And this looks on looking for his chance. But right now, it has been Max Johnson and his LSU offense in control. Fourth and one. I gave us twice as the running back. Move. Damn, Auburn. Just gave them a new set of downs. Damn, fair. False start. Offside. 
Oh, offsides. They keep doing penalties like that. They ain't gonna win the damn game. So anytime you have a short yarded situation against a group on defense, that's pretty stout up front. You know the first quarter. Down, man, that's massive. Final seconds. Taken down in this first quarter. They got a full house with an SEC rival again. Been a long time to have nights like this in this grand palace of Southern football. Tiger Stadium, Death Valley. Johnson Boutte got them on the board. Touchdown lead for LSU.